Yes, hello, what's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel, and I uh, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. In case you are new here, you're welcome. Consider subscribe, enable the notification bell so that you get all my videos when I upload. So, right now, uh, here this road comes from uh, Fort Porto City and I heads to Chavukonkone that side. So, today, guys, I decided that. Like, why not you uh, take you to this side of Chavukonkone uh, that you don't see? So this side of Chavukonkone is uh, in the Fort Porto city uh, and actually it's uh, uh, an upcoming richest neighborhood here in Fort Porto that uh, you don't see. So I want to take a walk with you and I show you how it looks like and uh, amazing buildings and the things around this side of Chavukonkone. So guys, let's walk together. If you are new here, kindly give this video a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment in the comment section. To let me know how you think about my videos. So I think, let me continue. Yeah, so I hope you can see. Uh, the road looks nice. And uh, it is really not tamak yes so this place guys it's a uh, a rich neighborhood here in Fort Porto city yes let's walk together guys and as I show you some of beautiful places here yes. So I hope you can see there's a lot of uh, settlements around here. Yes, a lot of new buildings are here. Yes. So guys, if you want to come to visit this place or you want to live in this place, you are welcome. Actually, this place is really uh, nice, looking nice. And it has uh, a conducive environment. Yeah, it's not all all that way congested, but uh, it's quite unique uh, from other uh, parts of this Fort Porto city that I was uh, I've been uh, touring with you. Hope you can see. There's a lot of things around here. Yes. Yes, guys, this place really looks nice, guys. Hope you can see. These are newly constructed apartments. Hope you can see. Yes, you can see. It's really looking nice. Yeah. You can see we have uh, also cows here in, in, in this side. Yeah, it's not a, uh, a deep village as such. Yes. You can see. A little more. Mm. Yes, guys, this place really looks nice. Hope you can see. Yeah, there is a beautiful houses around this place. Yes. Guys, this is Kiavukonkoni. Kiavukonkoni, a side of Fort Porto City that you don't see. But uh, you're gonna see each and everything from this side, from this channel. Yes. Yes. So guys, we are continuing walking. As I show you uh, how beautiful this side is. You can see there is a lot of uh, buildings here around yes let's continue walking guys as we explore the beautiful sceneries of this side of Konkoni. yes and actually it's my neighborhood village yes I'm going to be showing you where I live yes 
Let's continue walking, guys. Yeah. And actually, guys, this place is uh, uh it still has some uh, more lands to buy. And uh, one day I'm gonna show you uh, the property property deals here in this side of Chavukongoni. Uh, and uh, if you are interested to come to this side, uh, you are welcome to Chavukongoni, guys. Yes. Let's continue walking as I show you how this place looks like. Yeah, and I hope it's a. Uh, really looking nice yes let's continue guys <coughs> yeah you can see there's a lot of uh, buildings here around and more especially these are uh, permanent houses meaning that uh, it's not a deep village yes <laughs> yeah guys as i told you this is a a side of uh, it's a nearby uh, it's the neighborhood to my village yeah you can see this is a, a guest house here and it's uh, really it's new i think see yeah Yes, guys, let's continue walking as I show you some of this beautiful place. Yeah, so this this road comes here, uh, comes from Fort Porto that side, and uh, it continues to the deep village here. Yeah, this village, right now I'm entering the village where I was born, and this village is called Mbuzi. Uh, the word Mbuzi simply means it's uh, a foreign a foreign language but uh, in english it's uh um, it's a goat it, it is called goat so when i say mbuzi village i, I mean that uh, it's uh, it's I, I don't mean that it's goat's village but it's just a name uh, uh given to this village yeah i don't know why was it given that name but uh, I think that uh, during the early years, in the early years, this village, uh, the people who were living in this uh, village used to graze goats. And uh, I think that's why it is called the, the goats, goats village, Mbuzi, Mbuzi village. Yeah, so here you can see that this is a, it was a swamp. This was a, the whole of this place was a swamp. So you can see that they are planting, these are yams, yeah, Lo local yams, you can see. There's uh, maize, ma uh, a maize garden here, and the right here, these are the whole of this pl uh, place, those are sugar canes, yeah, you can see. There's a sugar sugarcane plantation, guys. Here, yeah. And this village is actually blessed because. <laughs> so, guys, this place is really blessed because uh, you can see it's a swamp, but uh, they, they they tried to build houses around. Yeah, and actually they are they are changing this. Uh, face of this village i'm actually amazed guys because i've been living uh, in this village for over 20 years but because uh, I, I was born in this village but uh, the way this village is changing it is uh, on a high speed because the whole of this part if i can tell you a little bit of story about this uh, this the whole of this part area was uh swamp was the whole of this side 
it was a swamp but right now you can see they built many many houses here around yeah and uh, that's why you can see that this village is really changing you cannot tell that this is a village it's like um, an upcoming town yeah because you can see yeah it's not like uh, in the past years how it was yeah it is really changing you can see yes so let's continue walking as I'm showing you how it looks like yes yes right now it's uh, around 1 1 p.m. in the afternoon but uh, the, weather, weather, the weather is not hot because today is how it, uh, it was since from morning. Yes.